All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. This is a little uh, follow-up to our last video uh, that we talked about uh, some chassis specs and why it's designed the way it is, some of the design features, and I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on that to give you guys <clears throat> another idea or more insight on why our chassis is a well-rounded product for you and we can simplify your build time and the build process and get you on the trail quicker. So we'll start up front here. We have the main reason I designed the front the way it is is so that you can run a front mounted radiator. Our, mount, our radiator mounts right here on these platforms and kicks up to a bar that's removable that goes from here to the other side with tube couplers. And such a nice feature because it gives you a ton more room in the back for storage, ice chests, things like that. And um, it just packages real nice. We use a Griffin 27 inch by 16 inch, inch and a quarter tube, two row radiator, aluminum. And then we designed a, an in-house radiator fan shroud that accepts 12 inch fans. Um, instead of the 10 inch that come with um, that size radiator. So plenty of airflow, keeps the rig super cool. Um, and then we have the winch plate here, um, kind of ties the two sides together up front where the limit strap tabs go. And on the front side here, we've got this inch and a half tube that creates this pocket here for your winch line. So no need for a fair lead. Your winch comes right through there and you're good to go. Uh, we have a couple platform tabs here for lights and then another one right there. Um, and then like I said in the last video, motor mount set up on this for LS. These motor mount bracketry and, and tube work uh, can come from us here at the shop. We have a jig that sets that all up. So once it gets to you, you put your motor mounts on and it just drops right in. And having the removable tube up front here allows you to drop the tranny and the, uh, the motor and the tranny in one shot. So you can bolt your transmission to your motor and drop it all in in one setup, which kind of speeds things up a little bit more. Over here, we have some bracketry for um, the aux beam S-pod deal. Uh, our fuse block, fuel regulator, and our air intake um, bracket. And the air intake bracket uh, actually just clamps to the tube and puts the air filter outside of the heat window or the fans blowing. So kind of nice. One of the biggest things that I've designed this for was to run Hydro Boost. And if you've never ran a rig with Hydro Boost, I would strongly recommend looking into it. Um, Hydro Boost is braking aided by hydraulic pressure and it, it creates phenomenal braking. And the nice thing, you can run it in this rig. We use just a factory forward Hydro Boost setup with a Willwood um, inch and an eighth piston master cylinder. And we run all dash three AN uh, steel braided line and it's phenomenal so if you haven't looked into it check out hydro boost but the chassis is already designed for it so if you get one we can cut you the bracketry for it and it fits right in there really nice um, and then up on the dash we have the orbital valve and orbital valve houses the, the steering wheel and and the cone seal with that And then this secondary dash bar here is an option that we offer. You can order that along with the center console. All those tubes come to you pre-notched or pre-coped, pre-bent. And the location of the tubes are pre-marked on the tube um, via con computer control CNC. So there's no guesswork. You just put the, put the tubes on the red marks and 
welded in. Um, we do have one spreader tube here uh, in the middle just for a little bit of structural integrity, keeping those two together. But um, Okay, so moving on down to the floor, we've got our upper link mounts. Um, there's a, a main tube here and then an inch and a half kicker here and the actual mount, uh, plate mount here. And all this stuff is done in-house. We don't, sub, like I said, we don't sublet anything out. Everything is, is CNC cut, whether it be the tubes or the flat plate or body panels or belly pan, anything um, that has to do with the chassis is all cut in-house. So we do have the, the belly pan. Uh, we, we run a 3 16 belly pan um, on our stuff. Uh, we've had good luck with it. It is a little bit of weight, but it, the weight's all down low. So we've had no issues with it. Um, we offer seat mount tabs right here, um, four of them. We have a fixture that locates the seat mount tabs in the chassis for the cor Corbeau seats. And so it gives you uh, three points of mounting. Uh, each pole is an inch uh, center line from, from the other. So you can move the seat forward two inches or vice versa. So uh, full X brace in the back, lots of protection. Um, diagonal bracing in the roof. We offer rub rails, some call them side steps. Um, these are made out of inch and a half tubing and offers a couple different things. It offers protection to body panels, helps aid in getting into the rig and gives you a spot to slide on rocks um, as you're going through the trail. The Back section here, um, in this particular chassis, uh, you can see the floor tube. We Frenched in a uh, driveline hoop down in there. And that's because this chassis is getting 16 inch coilovers on a 1.7 ratio trailing arm, which yields about 28 inches of travel. So in order to gain, and we're using high pinion axles, so it puts the, the drive shaft way up into the chassis. So we offer the, uh, the driveline hoop there so that you can raise that driveline up. Um, it's about two and a half to two and three quarters of an inch um, from the bottom. So all the bracketry and tabs um, are all made here in house. So if that's something you want to order, whether it be body panel tabs, orbital mounts, seat tabs, belly pan tabs, coilover tabs. Um, up here, up top, we have uh, some speaker tabs. We have a, a speaker bar that's gonna go in the back for some music. And like I was saying, we mount the radiator up front. So in the back here, we've got an ice chest, iced chest tray tube. So. This fits uh, a Yeti 65, it'll fit an Artec 52, um, and probably a ton of other configurations, but uh, those are the two that, that I've seen most ran. And it's so nice, it keeps the weight low, but yet gives you a place to put your ice chest aside from on top of the fuel cell.